Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Bandit Existence back to do another video for you guys. This video is gonna talk about a lot, so it's gonna be a little bit longer. Um, so, you know, just bear with me, fellas. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the year challenge. Also, I want to show you guys my nighttime bear routine and show you guys uh, what I do uh, at night. Uh, most of the comments and questions I get uh, is pertaining to the exact same problems and problems that I had since I started growing my beard and that is the, the under the neck problem. So I'm gonna show you guys how to address that problem, what you're gonna do, do to solve that problem and, and help that area to grow a little bit faster as well as to um, uh, minimize breakage, uh, minimize the coils and, and try to get that hair to uh, do what it is you're trying to do to make your beard look uh, as best as it could possibly look. I was also asked, what does the underneath of my beard look like? So I'm gonna do my best to try to show you guys um, what that looks like. So um, somebody asked me, and um, I don't know if you can see, but that's the underneath. So, you know, there are certain areas of your beard. Let me turn this hat around, because I, I can see that, um, I can see that um, my eyes and everything is looking real dark. All right, so what I want to show you guys is how you're going to help to train your the hairs under your neck to start to fall down. Now, what a lot of brothers seem to do is they might might grab a blow dryer and start blow drying their beard to, to get that area down, but that's only going to work for that one day, okay, or, or for that small amount of time until you wet your beard and then that's finished. And what you're doing when you when you use the blow dryer is you're damaging your beard on a regular basis to try and achieve something that's not not gonna you know it's not gonna maintain that way anyway. So I, I strongly am against using the blow dryer. I've used it a couple of times and every time I've used it I can tell right away and it took my beard probably a day to two days to recover and for me to get it back feeling uh, moist and soft and getting the hairs back to act the way they should and feel the way they should. Um, so I, I never recommend the blow dryer. Of course, I definitely don't recommend the um, that hot pick. I seen some brothers using that hot pick. Any type of heat, I try to stay away from. All right, um, so I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime routine and what I use. So first of all, I use my beard oil. Um, I also use This is shea butter, African shea butter. Okay, so I'll use this. On certain occasions, I'll apply some of the Jamaican black castor oil uh, when I do my nighttime beard routine. And I'm gonna show you guys um, exactly how I do that. This is probably my favorite oil. I just don't like the smell and the thickness, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. All right? Um, on certain occasions, I will also add in uh, the Shea Moisture Beard Detangler. Um, sometimes in this routine, I use it especially if I can't get to water or I don't wanna get to water or I'm dressed already and I wanna, I wanna comb my beard again and I don't wanna put water on my beard and, and wet my clothes up or anything. So I will use the Shea Moisture Beard Detangler and this takes the place of water, gets my beard to be easily combed out so I'm not pulling, breaking hairs. Um, I'm not snagging any and creating any knots or anything. This works very well for that situation. I don't use it on a daily basis, but when I do need like a, a, a rescue, a rescue comb or pick out, um, or if my beard's feeling extra dry, usually after I may use it maybe a day or a day and a half, I may use it right after my beard wash day or um, a day when my beard is really, really feeling dry, not really feeling as good as I wanted to. Uh, this is a quick remedy for that. All right. So, first thing you need is a wet beard. Do this step. I'm just going to use my my spray bottle for this, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly what I do now. I've been asked to put this video out for a minute, and part of the reason why I never really wanted to put this video out, even though I kept saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, is because. I believe that twisting your beard can almost cause as much harm as it can cause good. And I'm gonna tell you why. Um, twisting your beard, you can cause damage. You can cause stress to your follicles. Um, and I just didn't want to put a video out and have everybody twisting their beard um, on my recommendation 
and because it was done a certain way, you got bad results. So I was very skeptical about putting a video out on how to twist your beard because I, I believe it is very delicate. And any of y'all brothers that ever had your hair, uh, let's say for example, you have ever had your hair cornrowed or braided and it was braided so tight that it felt like your eyes was being held open, you know, or your hair was braided so tight it felt like your hairs were actually getting pulled out of your head. You definitely don't want to do that with your beard. So when you twist your beard, it has to be as loose as possible. So you're not trying to get your beard tight at the root and twist that and leave it like that and say, well, it'll start to feel better in a couple minutes because you're putting way too much uh, stress and pressure and tension on your follicles and you don't want to do that, especially in a trouble area. Um, you also don't want to twist a dry beard or a beard that's not fully protected uh, with the proper uh, oils and whatever it is you use to twist your beard. You just, you want to make sure that you don't wake up in the morning, you take those twists out and go to comb it out. You look in the sink and you got a whole bunch of little pieces of uh, beard hairs that has broken off because you didn't properly uh, take the first necessary steps to pre prevent that from happening uh, in the process of twisting your beard up. So again, pardon me for being long-winded. I just want to make sure you guys are understanding uh, that I'm, I'm definitely telling you you got to apply care when you start twisting your beard, especially if it's something you're going to do every night. All right. So first thing, your beard has to be moist. I'm going to moisten my beard with uh, a little water. All right. And just because I'm not going to get my beard as, as wet as I need it to be, I'm going to use um, the Shea Moisture. Okay. I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture in this step. And I don't know if you saw the underneath as good before, but you'll see underneath my beard right now is, is actually longer, is actually longer than, um, than my chin area, longer than the front. And this was my problem area. So I'm, I'm hoping that this year challenge really does under there some justice and hopefully my beard comes back stronger than it, than it was before. All right, so first step I apply water, all right? Next step, just to make sure it combs out because my beard didn't really get as damp as I would like it, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the, the Shea Moisture. Now you may look at what I'm doing and say, you know, that seems like overkill, man. You're putting a lot, a lot in your beard. Everybody's beard is different. So my beard is gonna absorb most of what I'm putting in it right now. And I know how much I can put and what it's gonna look like. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna I'm gonna oil my beard again because this oil is gonna be it's gonna be gone. Everything I'm putting in here now. All right, I'm doing the knee. Now I'm gonna tell you guys something about a lot of the products, and I noticed that with with the Shea Moisture too. A lot of the commercial products out on the market, right? Um, they'll work really great. It'll feel like a miracle that you put it in your beard. Your beard is so easy to comb through. It feels great. And as the day progresses, progresses, it seems like it's actually starting to dry your beard out. And then you got to apply it again the next day. Your beard feels great and you think the product is fantastic, but it actually starts to dry your beard out. All right. Now what I do to combat that is when I use any product like that, I'm still going to follow it up with my beard oil. Okay. So my beard oil is the next step. And I showed you guys, I'm gonna do uh, three drops up top. And I'm gonna do three drops down below. All right. I actually been using another beard oil. This beard oil I made, but I've been testing out another beard oil I didn't want to use it in this video just yet because, um, you know, I don't know how I feel about it, if I like it as much yet. So uh, we're going to see. But there are a lot of great beard oils out there that I have used, but this one that I've been using smells really good, but we're going to see uh, how my beard reacts to it. So now, just the shape, and you can see I've really been digging in this container. This is the African Shea Butter. All right, this is one of my favorites. Um, especially after a beard wash, this really helps to elongate your beard hairs and stretch them out a little bit. And it's really good, really good for your beard. 
So I'm I'm going I'm going overboard to show you and to make sure you understand that I'm telling you twisting your beard is rough on your beard. You're putting stress and tension on your beard. It's rough on your beard. Protect it. Okay? Now, second step is when you part your beard. Now, if you do this every night, you're going to start to notice you're going to have areas where your hair naturally starts to fall away from each other. So if you part it in the same place every day, your beard's going to start looking funny in that place unless you get a smaller tooth comb and start to comb it out to get rid of it. So I like to switch up the areas where I part my beard when I do this. Okay, so I'm going to twist. I'm not going to twist my chin area. I'm going to twist the sides and I'm going to twist underneath. So I normally start in this area here and I just bring the pick straight down. All right. And you can even separate it with your fingers. All right. So I separate it like that. So there you go. If you can see. All right. So now separate it. All right. Now I'm going to come in from here and I'm going to separate it and cut that in half. All right. So now I'm left with a piece down below and a piece up top. Okay. So I'm going to grab this with my hand, all right? And I'm just going to comb it out and I'm going to be very gentle. Comb that out. Now this will help to train any of your beard hairs that you're having a problem with. And when you wake up in the morning and you got to make sure your, your beard is damp when you do this or it's, it's not going to work. All right, when you wake up in the morning, um, you'll, you'll see when you go to comb your beard out that this really does uh, do a good job. All right, so I got one twist here, that's done. All right, I'm just gonna grab the next one. Now you see, I'm not trying to pull all of this into the twist and get it super tight. So if those hairs don't get in it, they're just not gonna be in it. And eventually as they get longer, you know, more of the hair will be in, in the twist. I'm gonna do the next one. All right, so I'm just I'm just taking two hairs and I'm taking one and going around the other. That's it. And as I do it, I'm taking my hand and I'm sliding it down to smooth the hair out a little bit. All right, so that's two. You see that? Okay, so now I'm just gonna do these two. I'm gonna separate it there. I can comb it out, I can almost not comb it out, but you know, straighten it out a little bit with my hands. I don't even have to, you know, bring the comb in and comb as much or pick as much. And then I'm just gonna start twisting. Now, when you twist any of these beard hairs, any of these twists, if when you get done, you feel like it's too tight, take it out and do it over. And there's another trick I'm gonna show you uh, to help prevent that. Now. I'm gonna have to make some funny faces when I do this, but it definitely works. So when you go to twist your beard here, if you if you make a face like this and tighten up your face, it, it makes everything move. You twist your hair when your face is like that, and then when you relax it again, it's gonna be a lot looser. Okay, so you can try that too. All right, all right, so I'm on this one here. Now, I never really try to get the parts perfect and all of that because, you know, I. I it is, it is what it is, man. So I'm gonna grab these hairs. So now this is starting to be the underneath area. So you see, let me get closer. So I'm just taking this here. I'll slide my finger down here, right? And I'll go around, slide it down, around, slide it down, around, see that? That's it. I don't put anything on the end. Now, in the morning, if I take this out and then get in the shower, wet my beard and get out, then doing this is pointless because for that day, my beard hairs are gonna be curled back up tight. So what I gotta do is I leave the twist in. If my beard gets wet, I wait till it's dry again and then I'll take the twist out. There was a time where I get in the shower and um, I put a cap over and try and prevent my beard from getting wet in the morning. So I wouldn't wet my beard in the morning um, or get it as wet as I normally would. And that helped out too. 
So now, okay, I didn't show you this stuff. Let me do this over. So now the underneath area, I'm gonna break it into two sections, okay? So I'm just gonna take the pick. So everything below is getting twisted. Everything above is not. So none of this is gonna, gonna go into twist, all right? So I just grab a handful here, a handful here, okay? This is only gonna have two twists underneath the neck. So this is one of them. Just gonna comb that out a little bit. You know, if, you, if you would've told me five years ago, 10 years ago, that I was gonna be on YouTube twisting my beard on video, <laughs> I have to tell you, you was a damn liar, you know, but man, how things change. But uh, it's all good, man. I'm doing it for my brothers. I'm just gonna go around. All right, so that one's done. And I'm gonna do one more right here. Now, there were times where if you're feeling tired or lazy or if I don't feel like doing the sides, I will just do two, two twists underneath and leave it because just, you know, the underneath there, if you get the underneath, you're good. But when I do the whole thing, um, it, it started to train my hairs and I noticed, I feel like anyway, um, it made my hair, my beard hairs grow a little bit faster because being that they were twisted up, all the moisture from all the stuff that I put in it tends to stay in the beard, you know, not a lot of, you know, air, I guess, gets through it and it stays in the beard. And when I wake up in the morning, my beard is a lot more moist and it doesn't get hammered from the uh, from the pillow and everything as much when it's twisted. So I started twisting my whole beard. That was part of the problem and part of the, the uh, me being exhausted with doing this is it, some of what led to me cutting my beard off too. So, you know, funny thing is, the very thing that I cut my beard off because I was tired of doing, I'm pretty much still doing it. All right. So I'm going to do this area here. I'm going to twist this. You see. Now, just for the sake of time, you know what I'm saying? Um, I put two under here. Sometimes I'll put two and two, two and two. So I put four. All right. So two is good for, for the for the sake of this video. My chin hairs tend to be a, a little bit straighter. I don't have as much problems with these hairs. They tend to be easy to comb and they don't curl up tight. So I don't really mess with that. All right, same thing on this side. I'm just gonna split it right here. Now this is what I mean. If, if you come in in this area and you split your beard in this right here, every single time you twist your beard, your hair is gonna start to, you'll, you'll start to notice your hair naturally splits there because it's used to being, used to being split there. So then the next time I may move it back a little bit and then move it back this way on the next day. So I'll keep moving it around and keep moving where I, where I, uh, where I separate my beard to start to twist. All right, so same thing. I just use my fingers just to show you guys. It's, it's pretty easy to do, man. All right. Grab a bunch of hair here. Um, you can comb it out. If if I'm if I'm stepping out and I'm going somewhere and I really want my beard to look good, I'll actually use use this comb and I'll take my time at night and I'll really comb everything out real good. But you got to be real gentle because you don't want to be pulling and breaking hairs. I'll pull everything out real good and then I'll twist it. So basically, one. See. Two. And again, you wanna make sure when you do this step, your beard is as loose as possible. You don't want this too tight, okay? You definitely don't want this too tight. Take a time, I comb that out. I'm real conscious about uh, how long I make these videos. So this one's gonna be pretty long, but part of me, a lot of times I make 
I've made some videos and, and I didn't even put them out because I got frustrated with trying to edit them down to try and get them to a watchable size. So I just, I just scrapped the video, but I probably got at least uh, maybe four or five videos sitting that I had put together that I never even put out, man. Um, and, and at least one of them has some pretty valuable information in it. Um, and it wasn't really even talking much. I mean, it, was, it wasn't really about the beard as much as it was about life. Um, but, you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll, uh, I'll redo that one and try to get it to a size that's, you know, you can sit down and watch. All right, so this is another part of the underneath. It doesn't matter if they're even or not. So, for example, I have more hair in this one than that one. I mean, I can re-grab it, you know what I'm saying, and make it more even. Um, and just go ahead and just twist it. Hope you see what I'm doing. All right, so sometimes I'll put these in the twist right here. Ah, but I'm good. But you'll know, you'll start to realize and start to see what areas of your beard um, need to be twisted more, what areas don't. And there you go, so my beard is twisted up. Um, it's moisturized, it's oiled up real nice and good. It's nice and moist. When I wake up in the morning, it's gonna feel real soft. It's gonna feel real good. And you know, I'm good to go. So when I wake up, sometimes I'll put a, a shower cap over my beard if I don't want it to get wet in the shower or I'll just let it get wet. As long as I have enough time in the morning that after it got wet, I have time for it to air dry. Cause you don't want it to dry and the hairs be able to curl back up. As long as they dry in the twist, once they dry it and you go ahead, I take the twist out, comb my beard out gently. All right, I'm sorry. I take the twist out, I grab my oils, all right, before I comb or anything, and I put my beard oil in my beard, I put my beard balm in my beard, which is not to shave moisture. I don't use this uh, in the morning. This is only for my nighttime routine. Um, same thing with the Jamaican black castor oil. If you notice you're getting breakage when you twist your beard, use this. This will definitely help to protect it because it's a lot thicker. Um, so if you twist your beard with this, you know, you, and you'll start to see when you twist your beard and you, you comb it out in the morning, make sure you comb it over the sink and look and see how much hair fell in the sink. You want to get to a, a point where there's barely any hairs in the sink, maybe one. Um, if you get more than that and you've seen a lot of breakage, a lot of little hairs, a lot of little pieces, you know you got to do something else and you got to either put more or use a different product when you start doing the twisting. So these I don't use in the morning. I like to use something. Uh, it's going to smell better. I don't really care for the the smell of either one of these. This kind of just smells like, I don't know, like wax. And um, I don't know what this smells like, but I don't care for the smell of uh, Jamaican black castor oil or the thickness either. So in the morning, I'll put my beard oil. If it's tough to comb out, I'll use a little bit of my beard detangler in the morning. Um, I'll use my beard oil and my beard balm. Put that in. After I take the twist out, comb my beard out gently and I'm, I'm good to go. So there you, there you brothers have it. That's how I twist my beard up. Hope you guys can see. Nothing special, nothing fancy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't have all the hairs in the, in, in the twist and, and this is what, this is what I do. So thank you for sticking with me. If you stayed here to, to the end, um, really appreciate all y'all brothers taking the time. Uh, to watch these videos and you know, I, I love giving y'all this information man because I struggled a lot I'm on my third beard. Okay, this is the third. This is my third attempt at trying to grow a big beard first first attempt I cut that one short early because um My chin hairs took off nothing else would grow and I just I didn't like the way it looked I, I stuck with it stuck with it and then I just thought it's hopeless you know what I mean I'm never gonna get the beard I want one day I was in the in the bathroom trimming a little bit I ended up taking the whole thing off took it down to like a number one guard took it all the way off the second time was this recent time when I just cut my beard again which uh, you know I've gotten used to my beard looking like this but I do miss the length you know but um I'm going for length with mass this time so I want it to I want it to be even healthier I want it to be bigger so we're gonna see how it grows and I'm gonna give give my beard and let my beard get a chance to grow the way it wants to and I'm not gonna rush it. A lot of times we rush it. You know, we want our beard to grow 
when we wanted to grow. We wanted to grow as fast as possible, be big as, but I wanted to be, I wanted to look like I'm, I'm capable of growing a nice beard when I grow this one. So, you know, don't rush it. It's gonna come, man. This is, this is my third attempt, like I said. And again, when I first started growing the first beard, I, I never thought I'd get to any of the stages that I've been at since then. So, um, any of you brothers that wanna get, any of you brothers that wanna get in on the, um, on the beard challenge, on the one year year challenge, it's starting on the first. The first is what, tomorrow, I believe. So it's right around the corner. Um, so get in on the challenge. If there's an area of your beard you want to trim, go ahead, man. You know, it's your beard. So you can you can get in on the year challenge. You know, go through it with your brothers. And any areas you wanna you wanna touch or you wanna trim, you can go ahead and do that, man. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll think of a hashtag. Maybe one of you guys can put a hashtag out we'll use for some of the photos so that way we put photos out. Uh probably easiest places on Instagram where you know I can I can get to the to the pictures a little bit easier to check. Pardon me, you see I keep touching my nose. It's because my mustache is kind of big and there's a there's a hair or two that keeps sticking up and they, they you know they annoy me a little bit. Um, but I'm trying something with my mustache. We're gonna see if I can get it to do do what I want it to do. Um, it is tough sometimes to eat with this much. It's tough to eat with a, with a big beard anyway sometimes, so I'm getting used to it. But anyway, get down on the year challenge. If you've been thinking about it, I hope you just go ahead and, and, and say, I'm gonna do it. And again, if being in the year challenge does not mean that you cannot trim any of your beard, okay? You can still maintain your beard. Just give the areas that you believe can't grow a chance to grow so like for example in here does not grow at all i'm gonna leave it for a year and see what it's gonna look like at the end now i may trim the tip of these hairs i'm not gonna let this grow all the way out and look you know but in here i'm not gonna clean up okay under here i'm not gonna touch it all all right and um again looks like this video is 30 minutes long already i got a lot to cut it down so i'm gonna sign off with that hey y'all brothers man thanks for sticking with me uh, good to be here and share what I know with y'all brothers, man. I, I learned a lot from, from y'all too. And uh, this bearded community, man, I, I want to tell y'all, man, I, I love this community, man. I love all y'all brothers, man. Let's, uh, let's stay strong. Let's stand together. All right. Peace.